Greetings. The tragic announcement that uh, King Charles uh, has pancreatic cancer and possibly only two years to live. Um, first, I want to say some things uh, that I think I'm, I'm a conspiracy theorist or conspiracy realist, but that means that even with uh, conspiracy theorists or conspiracy realists who criticize the British royal family, uh, one of whom is extremely close to me, um, it doesn't mean that uh, I can't make my own mind and see reality uh, unfold before my eyes. And so I'll start this out by saying, King Charles, I'm very sorry uh, to hear of your um, horrifying situation. And I want to praise you, King Charles, for your lifelong dedication to fighting climate change. I was uh, present at the Charlie Crist uh, summit against climate change in Miami, Florida, when you appeared by satellite as a keynote speaker in 2008. Uh, I was in the hall watching, listening to your great or oration. And I, I, um, I don't think people give you credit. Uh, and, you know, maybe I'm somewhat, uh, bias because I'm in Miami, which is, you know, predicted to be underwater uh, it, by 20, Miami Beach predicted to be underwater by the year 2060. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it, it is a terrible tragedy. And uh, notwithstanding criticisms made by David Icke or a friend of mine who I, I won't mention here, um, um, what it, what it, I also want to pay tribute to Prince Philip, um, whose work in some ways to me is even more important because Prince Philip uh, spoke up for animals and founded the World Wildlife Federation. May he rest in peace. And I don't really appreciate that conspiracy theorists want to tar and feather the entire British royal family and ignore. So, so let me make a criticism of David Icke. I, I revere him for his contributions to uh, alerting humanity that uh, there are extraterrestrials uh, living among us. Um, and um, I, I compare him in that sense to maybe even being superior to Jesus Christ, Muhammad, um, um, Moses, uh, Buddha, uh, Vishnu, and so on. Uh, because uh, you never hear any of them saying, hey, good and evil are right here on earth. We have the devil among us, so to speak. Now, I'm, I'm not, but I also want to mention that my perception of David Icke is... <coughs> Um, he's either blonde Nordic extraterrestrial himself, or he's so aligned with them, he's basically a puppet. And so he um, is hurting God in the sense of not talking about animals, uh, not talking about human overpopulation, uh, not talking about climate change, which he claims is a hoax. That's um, Moving on, uh, a, a friend of mine, King Charles, uh, went to prison um, before I ever met him, um, protesting um, the British royal family. And, you know, obviously he's a personal friend who I actually know, uh, but I pointed out to him that um, 
you know, this, this idea that there's a conspiracy against humanity by trying to control the overpopulation on the earth is, um, is a, it's, if, if there is such a conspiracy, it's a good conspiracy. We're killing all the animals. Uh, I'm very defensive of Prince Philip on this score. He's, he's one of the, he found, do you know, uh, forgive me for going off on a jag on this, but he founded the World Wildlife Federation dedicated. He's one of the few people who's had the courage to say we have to stop overpopulation, which is killing our animals. And it's happening every day. We, it's horrifying, actually. There's 1.8 billion people in Africa. And that's the last place where we have giraffes, lions, tigers, and bears. And there's too many people in Africa. Uh, and I could go on for a long time about that. I will mention uh, Bill Gates, um, I think, is... Um, a very malevolent force, but how is it that um, David Icke uh, doesn't acknowledge that his predictions of Bill Gates trying to reduce the human population was false? Uh, there are more human beings on Earth than ever, maybe because people were having sex while they were locked up behind coronavirus or something, but... Um, where is his concern, David Ikes? Um, or my dear, 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 close, close, close friend, uh, that I, whose name I'm not mentioning, <clears throat> um, when it, where's her concern about overpopulation? Where is her concern about climate change? Uh, I'm, I'm not hearing it. Um, from those people, the, the conspiracy theorists, what have you. Um, I think David Icke is, is with the extraterrestrial blonde Nordics. He may not be an extraterrestrial himself, but he is, he's, he's got blinders on. Uh, he's controlled by blonde Nordics. Anyway, so um, if, if a skeptic, Prince Charles, can tell you that I love you and that you've helped humanity. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, and I want you to know that even from someone like me who I, I, I freely admit and I call myself a conspiracy theorist, I love you. And I'm very sorry that this has happened to you with this um, you know, apparent pancreatic cancer. Um, so, maybe I leave it there. Maybe they can, uh, you, I just have an idea for you, uh, King Charles. You know, President Biden is trying to uh, find cures for cancer because his son died of cancer. ARPA H. I'm sure you're already in touch with them. If not, you should get in touch with them. They're trying to cure cancer, and it's a, it's a takeoff on DARPA, which does some amazing things. <coughs> Hopefully, you're first in line. Hopefully, they can cure pancreatic cancer. Um, I have a, a, a close friend who died of this, of pancreatic cancer in Miami. Um, Maybe they can fast track it at ARPA H.